Welcome back guys, my name's Sam, and in this week's episode of Prep Medic, we are going through my updated paramedic EDC. So as many of you guys know, I switched agencies and I moved out to Colorado. So a lot of the stuff that I'm using now as a paramedic out here in Colorado are different from what I was using in Iowa. This is kind of the updated everyday carry of the things that I have on me. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all the basics, everything that I carry in my pockets, on my persons, but I'm also gonna talk about my uniform, my belt, and my boots, if that's something you're curious about. Getting right into it, the first items that I'm gonna go through really quick because I've showed them in every single EDC video that I've had is my watch, my wallet, and my phone. So I'm using the Apple Watch Series 2 because it's waterproof. I like it. It's a little bit tough because of the second hand, but you can uh, program it so when you pull your wrist up, it will stay on for the time period you need to take a pulse. The wallet I'm carrying is the Magpul Daca. It's just a super slim EDC wallet. I really like it because you can put it in your back pocket and you don't even feel it. And then my phone is the iPhone 7. So this has worked really well for me. I've got it in an OtterBox and it's protected it pretty well over the past couple years. All right, moving into some of the more interesting material that I carry with me every day. Um, so the first thing that I have to have and that's super useful to me is my ID card. So this usually has a card in it. I'm not gonna show it just because it has some personal information on it. But essentially this card gives me access to the hospitals that we go to. And then behind it, I have a key fob for our rigs, which have kind of a nanny system in it. They record who's driving. I have a key for our restraints. Um, if we have to restrain a patient, you know, then this is a way we can easily get them out of it when we have to. And I just like carrying one on me. And then last but not least in this setup, I've got a SanDisk uh, USB port. And this is to import all my vital signs from the monitors we use to our reports. My old agency, we used to just do it via the cloud, but because we have so many rigs and there's only so much online storage, we just transfer it directly to a USB drive, stick it in our computer, and away we go with all the vital signs, um, CPR results, EKGs that we do on a daily basis. I have that all attached to just a steel cord. Um, I don't even know what you call these things, but this just allows me to put it up right on my epaulet and I can pull it down and use it whenever I need to. Okay, so moving on, on my other epaulet, while I have my ID and everything over here, I have the Guardian Angel. So this is a device that was sent to me quite a while ago and I've actually really liked it. Its primary function, what it was designed for is kind of a uh, light on your shoulder. It flashes white and red and it's supposed to make you more visible to people. That's okay, I like that feature and I've used it once or twice on a highway where I'm afraid I'm gonna get smoked by a car. Um, but what I really like this device for is the fact that it has a light function. So it sits right up on my epaulet, I can turn on the light during um, you know, low light operations or anything like that. And then the other super nice thing it has for your night cruise is it's got just a really low vis red light. So if you need to read a document in front of you but you don't wanna light everything up, you can just turn this little guy on and it works super well. Has a bunch of other functions on it. You can turn just the rear light on to flash, whatever you need. Um, but you know, primarily I'm using it for the two forward facing lights. And that's mounted to my shoulder with this magnetic clip. It just goes right on there. And I usually just take that light off and I put it in my pocket for the day because I am a day shifter. I'm kind of a princess. I really hate working nights. Um, but if I'm working nights or if it's a dark house or something like that, then I'll take this out of my pocket, throw it on my shoulder and away we go. This does have a bunch of different mounts you can use it for. So you can mount this on like the handlebars of a bike. You can put it on a uh, Molly attachment. I like keeping it up on my epaulet and that's really the only way I've used it since I've received it. So that's kind of a neat little tool um, that I've been using a lot more. I always have sunglasses with me. Um, right now I'm using the Oakley flak jackets. I think these are the 2.0, just all in black. Work really well, really stable. This is my second pair. The first pair went missing and then I bought this pair and uh, then I found my other pair. So now I've got two of them, which is awesome, uh, but I would highly recommend Oakley for sunglasses. And if you are a first responder, military, law enforcement, EMS fire, you can sign up for their pro deals and you can get their glasses for a lot cheaper. I think these ended up running me about $100. 
For a belt, I am using an HSGI Riggers belt. Now this is kind of overkill, I'll completely admit that. I don't need this D-ring, I'm not repelling off anything, uh, anything like that. But what I really like about this belt is it's a little bit thicker, it's pretty sturdy, it fits through my belt loops. And then I really like Cobra buckles for on duty because uh, you can just size it once at the beginning of the day and you don't have to worry about it at any other time. So if you unbuckle your belt, then your radio all stays in place. Um, it doesn't fall over uh, or like unthread your belt. So I really like the Riggers belt and I really like the HSGI product. This is the same belt that is on the inside of my battle belt actually. On my belt, I am carrying the Olight Seeker 2. Now this is a pretty powerful flashlight that I reviewed earlier on my channel. Um, why I carry this and not one of the other ones is because this has a battery and intensity indicator and it remembers your settings. So since I got this light a couple months ago, I've charged it once and it's held its charge remarkably well. It tells you right on the side where it's at so I never have to guess. Um, very, very bright, but it also has low moonlight settings. So if I don't want to blind people with it, I can just pull it out, use it like that. Uh, for our mountain calls, if we're looking for a house or something, this thing is basically a spotlight. Um, so it's been very useful for me. The Guardian Angel is more for documents in front of me, and this is more for my operational tasks that I'm performing as a paramedic. So I would highly recommend this light. This case I have it in is what it comes with. It's just a pretty simple belt loop there. It will work well for you. It doesn't slide around or fall off. Next to that on my belt, I've kind of given up carrying a knife in EMS just because it was annoying putting it in my pocket. I know you can get like belt holsters and stuff for it, but I found a lot more utility with a simple multi-tool. This is a Leatherman, I think it's the Leatherman Kick. Um, so it's just a really simple multi-tool. It has pliers, some knives, screwdrivers, uh, bottle openers, things like that. It's just very useful to have on duty for the little things you might be doing throughout the day. Doesn't have much application in patient care, but we all know when an ambulance breaks or when there's a piece of equipment that needs to be dislodged, uh, multi-tool is really good to have. And once again, the case it comes in is just the leather case that the tool came with, fits on the belt, works really well. All right, coming down to my pockets. I have also given up carrying the Raptor Trauma Shears and I am now carrying the X Shears. Not that there was anything wrong with the Raptor Trauma Shears, they were just kind of big bulky. I already have two things on my belt and if you've been in EMS a while, you know that the more things you have on your belt, the more new you're gonna be perceived as. So I prefer to keep these in the pants pockets of my 511 pants, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And I like these because they're lightweight, they're super high quality, um, and they're really easy to clean and simple. So instead of having to explain to somebody how to unfold my rafters if they need to have them handed to them, I can just throw these to somebody and they know how they work. Uh, I don't have to fold them up to put them in my pocket, anything like that. So I really like the extras. They're a really quality piece of equipment. I do have a review exclusively on these earlier on my channel, but I would highly recommend these. Right next to the extras, I'm carrying two things. One is a locking set of hemostats. This has a lot of different uses, whether that's you know pulling a splinter out, something like that, or if it's locking a blood pressure cuff as a makeshift tourniquet, or locking off a pressure bag for uh, a rapid IV infusion. These things have a ton of uses. I've gotten a lot of utility from them. So I'd recommend you pick up a pair of these. Most of your hospitals will have these that they're throwing away because they opened up the kit and now the entire kit's shot. So they'll usually have a drawer of these. Just make sure you wipe them off before you get them and use them. Right next to the hemostats, I'm carrying a Carpeject. For those of you that don't know, a lot of our medicine comes in either pre-filled syringes or it comes in draw-up vials. The Carpeject is for a third kind of medicine that comes in this really long cylindrical packaging and it needs one of these to be administered. So you slide that in there, you lock it down, and then you use this as the plunger for the medication. Not many are coming like this anymore. However, I've been burned on scene when I've gotten there and I've had one of those Carpeject uh, vials and I haven't been able to find this, which is supposed to be in the kit. So now I've kind of learned from my mistakes. I just carry one with me and then if I need it, I have one within arm's reach. On the opposite side of my body, I am carrying a write and rain notepad and a pen. I can't stress how important these things are. You know, if you're taking notes, uh, vital signs, marking what time you do something, pen and paper is something every paramedic, EMT, police officer, you name it, should have on their persons at all times. These write and rain notepads are pretty cheap. You can get them off Amazon. You can get big packs of them. Uh, me and my wife both use them, so we just order them in bulk and then go through them pretty quickly. For a stethoscope, I'm carrying the Littman Master Cardiology. 
This is a super great stethoscope. It is a little bit pricey, but I've had this for almost eight years. And if you are working professionally in healthcare, I would highly recommend picking up a really high-end stethoscope. I don't know until you get into the more electronic stethoscopes, this is one of the nicest ones you can buy and I would highly recommend it. So you guys know me, anywhere I go, I have a tourniquet on me. I have things for stopping bleeding and usually a chest seal of some sort. I carry the Dark Angel Medical Ankle Trauma Kit with me everywhere I go, whether I'm off duty, on duty. And in this, I've got a soft T wide flat folded. I've got a hyphen chest seal twin pack and I have a little bit of uh, NAR compressed gauze. This thing is awesome. I just keep it right above my boot. And I'm not using this for patients. Like if I've got a patient, I've got my bag on me. Um, you know, I've got our equipment, but this is for if me and, or my partner gets injured or if we walk into a scene and we're not ready for it to be what it is and we haven't brought the right supplies in, then I have this and I can intervene rapidly. But I would recommend everybody carry one of these. When I did this video before, I didn't actually have this or I wasn't wearing it. So I was just keeping a tourniquet in my cargo pocket, but that was getting a little bit tiresome. This guy I throw on at the beginning of the day, I completely forget about it. It sits right above my boots super comfortably and nobody even knows I have it. So highly, highly recommend this product. For radio communications, I do carry a radio. I don't have one at home with me because they're kept at work. They're just signed out for the day. Uh, we operate with pack sets. So I've got my radio and then the lapel mic up here. But because we are street corner posted and I'm right next to my partner all day, and we don't use the truck radio, we're using our pack sets, I opt to carry a um, earpiece. So this is a custom molded earpiece, uh, have it on me. It's not because I don't want the patient to hear the radio traffic or like there's warrants or anything like that. I'm carrying this so that when my partner keys up their mic, it doesn't squelch or provide feedback. And plus when we're running lights or sirens, it's really easy to hear with this instead of trying to turn your radio volume all the way up. So I've opted to carry one of these. This one's made by Arc, and then there was a local guy that did the custom fit for the earpiece. All in all, this was pretty pricey. It ended up costing about 150 bucks, but I would highly recommend if you're street corner posted or operating off pack sets, this makes things a lot easier. Especially if you're a law enforcement officer and you're running warrants, you don't want somebody to hear it. This is a lifesaver, literally. So as promised, let's talk about uniforms a little bit. So the shirt I'm wearing is a true spec BDU. I'll be completely honest, I don't like this shirt at all. It's got some functionality. It's got two breast pockets with zippers. You know, these buttons down here are a zipper. So it's really easy to take off, put on, but it does not fit well. Um, it's just a little bit too bulky. I'm gonna have to get all my uniforms tailored to me, which I'm sure all my complaints about the shirt will go away once I do that. But it is some expense out of pocket that I really didn't want to have to pay. Usually on the front of this shirt, we have our department badge and we have a nameplate there. Um, just identification for us makes us look a little bit more official. Now I know there are people that are gonna be like, man, you look like a cop and you are absolutely correct. That being said, people are not looking to only target cops and not paramedics. You know, if they wanna start shooting, they're gonna shoot all of us regardless. So I really see the risk as fairly minimal. Plus we have paramedic plastered across our back, on our shoulder, on the badge. So there's a lot of places that can be read and hopefully defuse whatever situations um, might arise. Now under this shirt, I am wearing body armor. Now, usually when I go on the truck, I'm not wearing body armor all the time. I've got an external carrier that I throw on if we're going to a violent scene or if it's a place where there's large crowds and it might be violent, I'll throw the external carrier on because plain and simply, if I can avoid wearing armor all day, I'm going to, and I realize that could cause some problems because those situations aren't always known beforehand. But for me, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Now, under this shirt, when I'm at, like, say, an event where I don't know what's going on, if we're downtown, it's a college town, things get out of hand really quickly, I'm going to throw this on. So this is a under-the-shirt concealable vest by Safe Life Defense. It's 3A plus body armor, so it's stab rated, and it will stop almost any handguns and even some rifles. So this is super great protection. It does have the option of upgrading to plates, but that's kind of overkill for my, or for my position, in my opinion. Um, it works really well though, and this is some of the highest quality armor you can get uh, for soft armor, in my opinion. For pants, I'm wearing the 511 Tactical EMS pants. These things are the most common EMS pants on the market. I've worn these on every single job I've ever worked, um, and I've got a huge stack in my room. 
a little bit pricey, they do fade over time, but their pocket layout is perfect. And they do come in a variety of different thicknesses and fabrics. So you can get some for winter months, summer months, and they work really well. Plus they look professional and they have a lot of functionality. So I would highly recommend those pants if your department allows you to wear them. I think they're the best on the market. For boots, I have been wearing Hi-X Black Eagle Athletic Boots for the last three years. And these boots have seen me through a lot. Um, I've been wearing these summer, winter, uh, you name it. These have worked really well. A little bit more of, of an athletic styling. I work out on duty, so these work fine for running, um, short distances, and doing sandbag workouts, things like that. The one problem with them is, is they're very permeable. So, you know, in winter or if you get some bodily fluids on you, they'll soak right through to your feet. Um, they are nice because they've got a zipper on the side so you can just slip your foot into it if you work a 24-hour trek or are just lazy. Now, I got super lucky because Hi-X uh, reached out to me and offered to do a wear test and they sent me the same boot. It's the Black Eagle, but it is the tactical version. So this is the same as that boot except it is Gore-Tex, which means it's waterproof, um, a little bit heavier, but it still has that athletic styling. I've been wear testing these for the past couple weeks, couldn't be happier. A little bit warmer, so in the summer months, I'm still gonna wear these and I'll probably get another pair because these are getting kind of worn out. But for winter months, I'm definitely gonna be switching to these just because of their waterproof and the fact that they're a little bit more insulated. So really great boots. If you're looking for a new EMS boot, I would highly recommend going with these guys. I think the one thing I don't like about Hi-X is their tagline is something about heroes, um, but that's pretty much it. These are great boots and I would highly recommend them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I'll also leave links to all of these products down there as well. So if you want to buy one, just click on that, pick one up. Um, I'll also leave any discount codes I have, although I don't think I have a ton for the products I showed you today. Additionally, if you want to support this channel, I have an affiliate link down there. It's to Skinny Medic Store. And if you use that link, it'll give you 10% off medical equipment as well as giving me a little bit of a kickback on this channel. So I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next week.